also want to say really quickly, um, I, I'm, you said in one video, it talks about that we saw, like, this morning on the way here to the Internet, there were crooked foreman security guards at the Alpha Bank on my way here. And they're harassing me about the people at the Starbucks and telling me I'm nothing, and we're going to show you that you're not only owner of this, any owner of this bank. Well, we do own part of that bank as well. It's quite wrong that they're like that. And I put them out to the security, and it's really, it's really wrong that they have crooks like that to try to, you know, you cannot, our banks, banks have other people's things in there too. Not just ours, or not just, not just one person's things. It's incorrect. You're not going to go around taking people's things. I'll tell you what happened to, one time, Abadot, Nasik uh, Malik David, we were going on a dinghy, all of us, and, and, and to, to, to a ship. But the dinghy um, uh, uh, got harpooned by a, by a harpoon uh, a thing in, in, inside the dinghy. And he was uh, helping somebody, and and so it was him and I, the last ones uh, to get off the dinghy, and um and, and he didn't want to get off the dinghy without taking his uh, briefcase, and um and so um and and so the 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 guard kept saying don't, don't and he said no no no, he was helping somebody, and so when we got back we got on a boat he said you know oh, well, we care about people okay. We care about good people. We're not supposed to care about bad people. It was some. It could have been somebody's only only money they had. Okay, we're the richest people on the on the universe. In the universe, cause, cause, because we're blessed by God. You can be rich in, in many ways, and we just don't know that money comes from God. And it's incorrect what people do to us. Where you know, it's not for you to go around trying to steal people's things and take them. You know, so it's like how it's like how I have to be outside. Uh, a lot of times because they want to catch who's hurting us, who's hurting me. They want to see who's hurting us and who's hurting me. So I scream and I holler to point them out who's doing things so they're caught. Because it's incorrect. All the people, my husband says, it's really, it's really disgusting. They work in our things. They go home. They go to bed. They shower. Then they come back and they do more things to us. I sit outside. I have to walk miles away. Miles. Of, I have to talk loud because I know they're doing this to me. I know I'm not that loud. I have to walk miles and miles to try to get to a bathroom. People get up out of their bed and go straight to the across the hall, or if they're if they're if they have a really nice fancy home, they go off to the adjacent of their master bedroom to the bathroom. So we just wanted to say that too. Now, um, in the crooked guard, I'm telling you again, at the, at the Sheridan, he was really a creep, and um, he said, "This is private private property." I said, "I know it's private property, and I don't want you on it." He lets that terrorist old man sit like, and and the other people say, "Well, in the other side of the part of the part of the hotel chain, they say, um, it's not his." The, the guard, he pretends like he acts like it's his, just like the woman at the McDonald's pretends like it's hers. It's not hers either. The cleaning woman. She had to use the bathroom. I had to walk a few more, a few more, uh, a, a, a longer distance to try to find a bathroom. Then they, this other Starbucks, they made me stand outside with the door locked. So, you know, I, I barely mentioned the bathroom. So it's incorrect what the crooked people tried to do. The Nazis did that to us. They just pee on ourselves. That's right. A car load, a car load of us packed inside a, a train. One bucket to leave ourselves, hundreds or more of us on the train, and one apple to share among everybody. That's a Nazi. So I just want to say that to you, too. Now, um, they're not going to ever do it again, because never again is a motto, and they're never going to take our things. They're not going to take anybody else's things. We know that the bad people, what they worship, are going to go away. Our God is not a female's behind, because that's what they worship. I'm going to be playing, like, please, you have to understand. It has to, you know the fertility, the fertility uh, thing? It, it, our God is is God. Our God is not the bottom part of a female. They worship that. It's female genital worship, and it's not correct. Think about it. That's not my God. That's not our God. Our God is God alone. And don't you think God would destroy destroy people for thinking that about Him? That that's better than our God who puts a breath into your body. They're gonna get it. So God says to stand back. You know, go. Shut yourself in a room the ending, till the indignation passes. You know, go to a mountain and hide. Because, you know, God has tidal waves, tsunamis, earthquakes, asteroids, typhoons, and other kinds of things. And there's no mistake about it that that would be anything but God. And God also promised to send our enemies a plague. That would be AIDS and all those other things that they can't cure. So know that too. Nothing they can do about it. You know, until, until, they're, until they're no more. You know, our God demands uh, demands respect and uh, desire, uh, desires respect and deserves respect. Who would do that? I don't want him talking to me, the people that believe in that. That's why there's so many harlots and other bad things. Because you are what you worship. You are what you eat. 
you are what you do. That's incorrect. So they may try to do something real bad to me, the bad people that try to run us off, because I'm telling what I, I would like to say it the way I would like to really say it, but I know that I can't say it that way because I want little kids to understand what they be able to hear. It's incorrect. That's not our God. Our God, made heaven and earth, to see our God controls, our God is king of the universe. And our God makes kings and queens son who are supposed to be. It's not for, the, the devil tried to kill God. Don't you know the devil and the, and the others that fell with, the devil tried to take over? They're not going back. They're going to get it. And everybody that went that way knew. Look at what they, it's not, it's not correct what they, what, they, what they do. Our God is beautiful. Our God deserves the ultimate, utmost respect. Our God gives everlasting life, and our God is God, holy and supreme and good. Our God is a true God. You know, we're Jews. So, so we know, all right, that our God is awesome. My beloved kids have eaten, I and our beloved royal family, our beloved kids people, we believe only in God. And we're not going to do anything to worship our God to the fullest. You know, it's almost Passover. And that's what Pesach is about. Also, it also means that death passes you over. Because you worship only our God who's God alone. Because that's who gives life. Our God is God alone. Our God's not human. That's above the water of the sky. And our God is over us. And we love that tremendously. Our God is over our beloved kids of me and my beloved kids of me. That's our beloved real family and our beloved real kids of people. We love that tremendously. And so now we'll try to make another video if we can uh, a, a little bit later. And um, we love you all very much. Be most careful, safe, and alert. And we try to get you as much information as we could possible that's important that you need to listen to. Or just pay attention to. Because they know all the right people are going to make it. Me and Brothers Kippen Street, Mr. Abel Brofem, all those kids, we're going to make it. Because God promised us that. We live for eternity. Just watch and see. But no. Okay, so just, well, e video you as soon as we can. And email you as soon as we can. Have a wonderful, safe day.